All right, you guys, we got uh, everything set up here. Got all our corpses here ready to go. Got all our random boxes and everything packed away in our totes. We're going to get everything packed into the truck that we can tonight. And then in the morning, we're going to load up the truck and then my buddy Ryan's truck. And then we're going to haul up everything up to the show and then get it all set up. And I'll take video when I get up there. All right, guys. So we are currently waiting to get into this show. Uh, we just pulled up so we uh, got a few minutes before we can get in there it doesn't open till 7 a.m uh it's about 6 50 ish so we got about 10 minutes to wait so we're gonna go ahead start unstrapping everything in the truck and then we're gonna get all set up and then we'll take you around show you the booth and we'll see what happens throughout the day and uh we'll just get right into it Here's all uh, earrings, pictures, front and center, all of my creations, and the ends. In the corner, we got the legs. Down here, just kind of random spirit stuff. Hair clips, earrings, succulents. We got some masks up there, little ghost things, these little guys here, obviously I've made. I uh, got some animatronics we're getting rid of, and some weapons, on the back table. In the very front corner, we have this guy, got our banner right in front, and we are right at the main front door. So everyone's gonna walk in and see us right here. Uh, we got this creepy towering clown, try to get rid of him. Some more animatronics facing the main aisle way. And over here, all of my creations, all the nasty food bowls. I think we're, we're priced pretty good. Hopefully all this stuff moves. Uh, my gore plates. All our foam pumpkins. And that's it. But this is a huge show. All that over there, vendors everywhere. Everyone's still setting up. And all this over here. And then there's a whole other section on the other side with tons of vendors. So we'll try and get videos as the day goes on. We've done pretty good today. Sold a lot of our gore plates. And our, one of our corpses is gone. And we've sold some random little things over here. Some animatronics. Uh, we're about down to the last hour of the show, so we're going to kind of go peruse around and show you what is around here. Uh, pretty much cleaned up on all the animatronics. Uh, we're going to start slashing prices and get rid of stuff. And we got Bree Fear Productions. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> All right, so we got everything home. 
unloaded. Uh, Ryan already took off. And we got some stuff in here. Did some trading. Go on a Breeze Fear Production shirts. Did some trading. Uh, we came home with a lot of stuff, though. Um, a lot of stuff that we thought was going to sell, didn't sell. Um, we came home with all of the pumpkins that I made. I thought those were going to sell, um, but they didn't. Uh, came home with a lot of the gore plates. Uh, we did sell some, but, you know, we didn't uh, We didn't sell as many as I thought. We came home with some random props. Thought these were going to sell, 10 bucks. Uh, brand new, nobody, nobody bid on those. So, um, yeah, we got... You know, this little animated reaper left over. Uh, we made a lot of extra room in these totes, though. Thank God. Uh, we still came home with this guy. He's sitting right here. Nobody bought him. Nobody bought this thing. Um, again, I know the prices are kind of steep, and this was a home haunt show. And then we still came home with these, which I knew these were going to come home with me, being at 500 bucks, which is okay. Um, this guy ended up coming home too, and this corpse, and then this guy, he came home as well. Uh, the only one that did not come home is the one with the tubing. I did sell him. He is gone. Uh, we ended up bringing this guy back home, and yeah, so this guy, he never got finished, or she, Blind Fate, uh, from Evil J. I never did finish that. I was going to use her to like bookend my booth with. And I didn't think about it then. I thought about it this morning. Um, I could have used this one. You know, it's kind of after the fact. I, I could have took him with us, but I didn't. Just to uh, give us some cool little thing for the booth. Uh, for the next show, I'm going to finish that guy. And I'm going to do some more, um, like, <clears throat> some more corpse feet. All of these guys, all these guys sold. Every single one that I made went super fast. That was the second thing that I uh, sold. First thing I sold was some animatronics. Second thing I sold was my leather face mask. Two of these feet. Uh, some of the corpse bones that I did just like this, but I corpsed them all up. And um, I think they bought one of the... I think they bought one of the gore baskets. And I think they might have bought... Um, well, they bought the hand on a platter. So it was this platter. This exact one with the Spirit Halloween hand on it with a giant fork in it. Uh, they did buy that in a bunch of my, my creations. So that was pretty cool. Uh, we did sell a lot of my own stuff. I think... Um, I don't know the exact number. I haven't sat down and figured that out out on what i sold of my stuff that i personally made it was definitely over 500 dollars worth of just of my own creations one 300 of it being one of these guys um and then uh you know a mask feet stuff like that so that was really cool to have all that but all in all we had a awesome show uh i have never vended ever in my life i had a phenomenal time and we did a little over 1100 bucks uh, between some spirit halloween stuff and some other stuff uh, i'll show you what we have left over prop wise um, some stuff we didn't even take into the show but we came home with the one witch animatronic uh, i did sell the witch that was standing back here with the green face i did sell her she's gone and we came home with the lowe's witch and the pumpkin hay bale popper ended up not going to the show at all, period. Uh, I just threw him back in my truck. My daughter was like, don't give her to him. So all in all, we did phenomenal. Um, I think 1100 bucks on your very first show, vending a small local show, ending up selling a lot of your own creations. Uh, it was a really, really cool uh, experience. So I'm definitely going to vend their next show in August. I'm definitely going to be there. Uh, I'm going to do a little more corpse creations and a lot more feet and uh, homemade stuff.